same supply curves, the supply curve before the tax and the supply curve after the tax. Same position on the board, but the difference now is that the demand curve is very, very steep, very, very inelastic. Think about that. What that really means is that if the price of the product goes up, the quantity people buy is not going to change very much. We'll get more into elasticities and demand later in the course, but see what's going on here. What happened on our, on our graph? We imposed a $1 tax, so the supply curve shifted vertically by $1. If you go vertically from where you were straight up, here's the $6 mark. What happened to the equilibrium? As the supply curve moved up this very steep demand curve, the equilibrium moved way up here. And in fact, the equilibrium price rose almost by the full amount of the tax. It rose not to $6, but to $5.95 indicating that the buyers are going to be willing to pay most of the tax. They're paying 95 cents more per unit. Not only that, whereas they used to buy 100 units, they're still buying 98 of these units. They must like this product quite a bit to be able to, to continue to buy as many as they did, or almost, and to be willing to pay almost the entire tax. That's an inelastic demand. What happens now? Well, the government's going to collect how much tax? One dollar per unit for 98 units, $98. You're going to collect a lot of tax. How much of it is going to be paid by the buyers? 95 cents per unit times 98 units. How much tax is going to be paid by the seller? Five cents per unit for 98 units. All right, so out of the $98 tax, $4.90 is going to be paid by the seller. And the remainder, what would that be, $93.10 paid by the buyers. So when the demand curve is very inelastic, the seller is able to pass along most of the tax. The buyers continue to buy a lot of the product, and the government tends to collect more tax revenue. And so we talk about sin taxes. We tax liquor. We tax cigarette. We tax gasoline because we got to have them. Things we want to have, got to have. That's what government knows they can tax, and we'll pony up the money. Suppose they tax toothpaste. Does it have an inelastic demand? Not maybe so much, right? Suppose they taxed Colgate toothpaste. Well, what would you and I do? If Colgate toothpaste went up by a dollar or two, I believe I would switch over to Crest or whatever else, right? We wouldn't be buying any Colgate. The government is not going to do much good if it taxes products for which buyers can get by without. They'll say, no, I'm not going to pay that much. All right. Thanks.